My name is Paul Ohodnicki and I'm an associate professor in the Mechanical Engineering and Material Science Department. Our research is focused on uh, particularly optical and magnetic materials and we have an emphasis on how we can optimally tailor them for applications and devices to have an impact. What we see is that with advances in new materials, that really opens up a whole new set of design spaces at the device and component level. So you can make something smaller, you can make something lower cost. Uh, new materials can also open up new operational performance levels, being able to operate at higher frequencies or higher temperatures that wouldn't otherwise be possible. When we look at a problem, um, we're very interested in, in solving problems that matter. So often our research would be inspired by, a, by a, a challenge. So some of the examples of devices that we have a particular focus on include sensors, uh, motors for electric vehicles, transformers for integrating uh, renewables on the grid, inductors for controlling the flow of electrical power. So all of those types of devices leverage new advances in, in materials. We are fundamentally changing as a society in terms of our uses of electrical power. Some of the trends driving that include uh, electric vehicles, even manufacturing industry shifting more towards electric, uh, hybrid electric aviation, and that really requires new soft magnets that, that can switch uh, very efficiently as well as hard magnetic materials that can maintain their magnetization under extreme conditions and, and operating environments. We're looking at new alloys that are specifically tailored for high temperatures. We're looking at new ways of processing to tailor their magnetic properties. And we're looking at how to design an inductor based on them. Some of the conventional sensing and monitoring systems will allow you to detect that something has occurred and then you can take quick action. With the types of research that we pursue, we're really looking to try and prevent failures to begin with. Um, you know, a pipeline failure, for example, can be catastrophic. Uh, same thing's true with, with uh, the electric power grid going down. We would look at new materials that enable us to get new information and to place sensors in locations that wouldn't otherwise be possible. That gives you the most valuable information. The other part of it is, is the intelligence in terms of how you use the information, and that's where techniques like machine learning, artificial intelligence, digital twin systems come into play. Um, and we collaborate with a number of other partners in that area as well. We work on a lot of things in our group, um, and we're, we're a very interdisciplinary group that's at the core of our research. Um, I think the, the approach that we take comes from uh, my background. I worked in industry and product development. I worked in the DOE laboratory system for 10 years. We also are engaged in commercialization related efforts through our lab as well. You know, that experience with industry, with national labs, um, I think it really does influence the way that we think about problems, the problems that we choose to solve, uh, and we really do try to leverage the scientific principles, but to do it in a way that can solve problems efficiently and, and have an impact.